face of India. <laughs> yes, I'll sleep face Another of India. Face of India. Okay, okay. Are you here because of Mahatma Gandhi? Yes. Okay. Mahatma Gandhi. I am India. And it's that I'm way, is it India. right? We're now approaching holy ground in India. So it's shoes off. A view to the glory of a great country, a historic country, whose history goes back. Independence Day of India and President Barack Obama is coming to visit. Oh, uh This uh, busy place is the burial ground of the father of India, Mahatma Gandhi. What's your name? And yours? Oh, it's nice. And yours? Harsh. There's, there's a teacher. There's a teacher. My name is Sunni. I used to be a teacher. Hey. Lovely group, lovely group. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, there we are. The face of India. <laughs> Another face of India. Wow, oh, lovely. Yes. All right. Hey, who's the last one here? Hello, how are you? You speak English? No? Okay, a little bit, a little bit. Who speaks English here? You speak English? No? no. You speak you speak Hindi? No. You speak Hindi? Ah, nice. Bye guys. Yes. And your name is? Benoon. Benoon, yes. And you're you're from Delhi? You're you're from Delhi? And why why are you here? Why are you here? He my Roita. Sorry? It's my Roita. Okay, okay. Are you here because of Mahatma Gandhi? Yes. M Mahatma Gandhi. I am India. And it's that way, is it right? That that way, yes. We're now approaching holy ground in India. So it's shoes off, just like in the mosque. And here, in this quiet place, in this quiet place is the burial ground of Mahatma Gandhi, who in a long tradition of Indian politics was assassinated. And the flame burns for the father of India. <laughs> And here is the uh, future of India, a country that has a bright future. Hello, Hello how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Hello. Nice. Nice. Our next stop is world famous India Gate, the symbol of New Delhi, comparable to the Arc de Triomphe in Paris and the giant monument on Reforma in Mexico City, the Monumento de Independencia. This is not a Monumento de Independencia, but instead we'll talk about it later. And for us, it's a historic moment, as for the very first time in our lives, we walk through India Gate, the victory columns, built at the end of the First World War, a war in which India lost 90,000 soldiers 
phenomenal number of an incredible event. <laughs> the bravest of the brave, entry restricted. And here I was going to go marching right in there. Lots of uh, families out enjoying this uh, beautiful day. What do you think the temperature is right now, Barb? Sixteen, seventeen, yeah. Sunny day. Lots of people out. Taking photos. Uh, probably one of the most remarkable places in India. From the southwestern side, the sun lights up the whole monument and is a much better view. A view to the glory of a great country, a historic country, whose history goes back to the time of the Egyptians and beyond India. And this is the story of India. All right, so this is the best view of all of uh, India Gate. And uh, as I sweep up, there is uh, an inscription up there that's worthwhile reading. And Barb, just underneath the India, what does it say up there? To the dead of the Indian armies who fell and are honored in France and Flanders, Mesopotamia and Persia, East Africa, Gallipoli and elsewhere, in the near and the far east, and in sacred memory also of those who names are here, recorded and fell in India on the northwest frontier and during the Third Afghan War. And that says it all. India Gate. Some of the names inscribed a little bit of gardening being done and those flowers end up over there around the monument lit up by the sun there's Barbara in conversation with one of the guards and taking a photograph. Nice. As we just saw, Barb was uh, talking with uh, one of the guards and uh, apparently she learned something rather interesting. Barb, what was that? January the 26th will be the Independence Day of India and President Barack Obama is coming to visit. Oh, uh, Barack Obama will be here? Yes, apparently. And that's why they're painting and fixing everything up? That's right. How interesting is that? All right, you heard it first right here on Travels with Lobo. <laughs> A live news report. <laughs> Indian version of the White House the residence of the president. Some phenomenal palace. And behind me are the various government ministries. 
foreign affairs among those on this side and off in the distance is India Gate India Gate some of the uh, government buildings in New Delhi New Delhi of course is the capital city of India and we're driving up to Congress yeah and uh, also very typical of India is the ambassador that used to be practically the only car in existence here in India that yeah that ambassador we're in a diplomatic area but I'm talking about the car And here's the station, and our hotel is right down here. Walk down here to the McDonald's. It's only about 200 yards, 300 yards. Turn right in a little alley. You're at the Hotel Intercity. Our first stop in uh, New Delhi has us exploring a Hindu temple and uh, that is the so-called Birla temple, one of the main Hindu temples of New Delhi. Unfortunately, photography is not permitted. So this will have to do. To the surprise of many of us from uh, the West, the symbol of the temple is the swastika. We of course know that the swastika has a different meaning to, to most of us from the West. And that's it from the outside on a sunny, beautiful day. This is our first full day in uh, New Delhi, and we've committed ourselves, for better or worse, to a car and driver holiday that is laid out from start to finish. We'll see how that goes. And here is the future of India, a country that has a bright future. Good to see you. Hello. Nice. Nice.